Hello fam, how y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. How you doing, Timsters? First of all, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for all the love and the support. Thank you for the positive energy that you bring when you come here. This is not just a channel. This is a community. A community for collectors, about collectors, talking about things, dealing with collecting. Fam, you know, first of all, I just want to say thanks again. <laughs> Second, let's do this damn review. Today, we're going to review a Sentinel. This figure wasn't that expensive. The HasLab version costs like damn near $500. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the hell. You know, this figure costs nowhere near that. It ain't even over $50, not even over $40. Shit, not over $30. So my whole point is, you know, this figure right here is 7 to 8 inches. Good color scheme. But I noticed at the bottom of this, it says Kenner. But on the back, it says Hasbro. You know, part of their retro line. So... I was thinking, was this something that Hasbro had done a while back or Kenner or somebody, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, they say, hey, look, we got retro cards. But I love the carding of this. It looks fantastic. And it's a huge card. You know, I don't believe that this does it justice, but it's actually a cool figure. It has an extra head. The head is actually decent. It has some sort of blast effect on the side right there. If you see it, you see a coil that goes inside of his hand right here. Um, you know, you can tell that this figure is different because of how it's made here. But overall, it's not articulated. And this is why it really has some of the collectors like, yeah, I'm not picking it up. Because uh, it's not articulated. It's just like a big hunk of plastic. But for me, I wanted a Sentinel, but hell, all those other Sentinels I couldn't afford. And let's just keep it real, fam. You know, we all got a budget. So if you look on the back, it says Marvel Sentinel. And on the back, the drawing, it makes it look fantastic. I noticed that the little circle in the middle, <laughs> I said he almost looked like Iron Man. Like he got some version of an arc reactor or something, fam, you know. That's one thing that I did love about the X-Men comics because they had a lot of villains. They had a lot of good guys. They had a lot of everything, you know? And that's one of the things that's fun about this. My whole thought process is to pick up quite a few of these over a period of time and actually damn near army build them and have them flying around my Marvel Legends set in the back and, you know, making them look menacing and stuff, doing weird stuff. That's the fun thing about affordable stuff. You can really work with it. It can really help you build something. You can troop build, army build, with a lot of affordable stuff. But if it's not affordable, you can't. You know, overall, it looks really decent. Normally, I would open this up and show every piece, fam. But the thing is with this, it's hard for me to get to my section back here. Because, you know, right now I have some things going on um, that I need to do first. So with that being said, fam, this is what this is. Um, uh, great figure for basically 30 bucks. Um, it had free shipping. You know, you pay for taxes, eBay. You know, I couldn't find this within the store. I couldn't find it anywhere, you know. So I said, hell, you know, I ordered it and it actually came. You know, some people say, hey, uh, I, I don't like that. You know, I feel that right there is a waste of money. You could have spent money doing something else. But fam, it works for me. As I look at it, it brings me joy. And whatever you get should bring you joy. You know, it's detailed for what it is. You know, it may not be the greatest Sentinel. You know, again, it looks dated, but, you know, that's the fun part of it. You put it in the back, nobody really know. You have it as the Sentinel in the back, and people really don't look at it. They be like, damn, you know, I ain't know he was like that. You know, I ain't know he was rocking it like that. But for me, it's cool. <laughs> and that's how I look at it, fam, you know. I was just thinking, is this some blast that shoot out his hand right here? Is this thing out of one of his hands or do it go out of the boot or something? I was just looking at all of that. You know, it just looks really amazing. Marvel Legends. <laughs> but fam, to later, like I said, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Just much love, fam. That's all I can say. Thank you so much.